I am at a loss as to what to do with my wife's request. My wife and I have been married since 2001 and together since 1999. She is the most intelligent, thoughtful, caring, loyal person I know, and I have always thought of myself as fortunate to have met and married her. She is even today aesthetically beautiful, and men have told her this throughout our marriage. She has always shot them down. Earlier this year, she was diagnosed with uterine illness, stage one, and had a full hysterectomy. I was never concerned about the illness. It was diagnosed early, dealt with quickly, and she made a full recovery. I took time off work to look after her after the surgery and all seemed well. There were some expected emotional instances on her part, and although I am not an emotional person, we dealt with them together. After her recovery, she was insistent that we start living life to the fullest and took a 10-day trip to Europe, followed by a trip to Belize. We also have a trip to the UK and Spain, Portugal later this year. I am fine with these things, building memories and crossing bucket list adventures offer in our lists. I also understand that these are a result of feeling fragile on her part. She also took up yoga, swimming, and healthy cooking classes. I was fully on board until last week. Last week she came home from work and told me she wanted a hall pass, a one-time opportunity for her to be intimate with someone else besides me. She said that since her illness diagnosis, her outlook on life has changed, and she doesn't want to be restricted from doing things she wants to. She explained that there is this guy at her work that she has always had some attraction to. He is leaving the company, and she will never see him again. So this is the perfect opportunity to get with someone else. She said that I could say no, of course, but that she would be mad and disappointed at me for an indeterminate amount of time, and that it would be confirmation of my male toxicity and insecurity. I don't consider myself to be harmful, and if not wanting your wife of 20 plus years to be intimate with someone else is insecure, then I guess I'm insecure. I told her that I appreciated her talking to me about this, but approval via pressure is not approval. I also said that I do not appreciate her language in describing me as of yet unknown reaction to this very large issue that could affect the rest of our marriage and life. I got up in the morning. She basically said that she was sorry for putting such a large decision solely on my shoulders and that to help. She was taking the decision away from me. She booked a hotel near where co-workers are having a party send off for this guy and she would spend the night there with him and hope that I would be here when she got back, that she would answer any questions I have about the night after it happened, but not before. She will not tell me who he is or anything about him because she knows me too well, and that I will dwell and obsess over him, and that would make it too real for me, which is pretty accurate. Her point of view is that the less I know, the better, which contradicts the offer to tell me anything I want to know after it happened. I think she knows. I want to know or ask anything where she simply will not tell me. Part of me thinks at least she has been honest with me, and she has been through a lot since finding out she had an illness, so maybe I should just let it happen. I certainly have no concept of what she went through, so I cannot dismiss how this affected her mental state and outlook on life. Part of me wants to put my foot down and say, this is not going to happen and deal with those consequences when they happen. Her BF called me insensitive for even suggesting that I wouldn't let it happen, because I have no idea what she went through. I find it hard to believe that she is okay with the possibility of throwing away 20 plus years of marriage over some guy that she has had no relationship with outside of work, and that I should just call her bluff. Maybe she thinks similarly that I won't throw away the marriage because of one encounter. I just don't know what to do. I empathize with her, and then an instant later, I am angry with her. Part of me wants to know who this guy is. What does he look like? What has he got that is so enthralling for her? Is he just a safe option? Is he married? Does his wife know? Would I be a jerk for saying no? What can I do besides walking away?